But uh, trusting desire isn't always easy. I mean, desire is incredibly sensational. If we think sometimes when we're sitting to meditate and our hips hurt and it's like, oh, there's so much sensation, I can't sit still. You know, we think of desire as, a, as, a, as an experience as deeply sensational. And so it can be really hard to stay conscious with it. And in fact, that's often why desire uh, is seen in a negative light is because it can easily knock us or knock us out in a conscious, you know, we go unconscious around it. Desire comes in and we either check out or we numb ourselves or we just impulsively react, but without actually being in, in, in an intimate relationship with it. It's like we're doing it, but we're not actually present. And so to actually be fully present and connected to our desire in a living relationship takes a lot of awareness. And that's part of the reason we sit is so that we can do that. Uh, 